Hi, I'm Veronica Belmont from Engadget and Mahalo, and we're here at the Erector booth with the Spiky robots. So tell me a little bit about these four different robots and what they each do. Sure. Uh, well, everybody knows about the Erector set. Well, this is a 21st century Erector set, so we are very excited to introduce you the four robots we have. First of all, we have uh, Spiky, the Wi-Fi spy robot. So all of them are robots to build, so you can build it very easily, and uh, then you control uh, Spiky from your computer with Wi-Fi. But you can also control it remotely from anywhere in the world with internet access. So if you're somewhere in a hotel and you want to see what's going on in your apartment, you can, you know, dial in and see from Spikey. Exactly. You can see what's going on in your home because we, you can make it move. It has a webcam so you can see what's going on. You can hear and you can speak through the robot. Now, will it shoot laser beams at an intruder? Uh, yes, it can detect the <laughs> movements and but it, it can won't actually hurt sounds, them. Laser sounds if you want. <laughs> Give them a little scare anyway. <laughs> Uh, it's also an MP3 player. It can take little movies, take pictures, and uh, when the battery gets low, it goes charged by itself. Excellent. And then who is this right here? Uh, this one is Spiky Cell. This one is a Bluetooth robot. You control it from your cell phone. Uh, you can uh, see what's going on uh, with the webcam here, and you have the image on your cell phone. Uh, you can take pictures. Uh, you can also make it move. Uh, maybe I can uh, show you. Um, like this. Uh, and it's a made for iPod product. That's what's really cool about that. Uh, so you plug your iPod in and then you can play it? Exactly. You plug your iPod on it and then you can control it from your cell phone. You get all your playlists on your cell phone and you can hear it through stereo loudspeakers. Uh, also, if you get a phone call, you can hang up directly on your robot and you can speak and hear through the robot. It's like oh, a, uh, like a speaker hands free. Yes, like a speakerphone. Exactly. Uh, so that's for Spiky Cell. And then we have those two. Uh, really cool uh, voice activated robots. Uh, when you talk to them, they react with different faces, lights and sounds and movements, so they really look alive and uh, they have different personalities. They can be either good or bad and they will react different ways. Um, you can also activate your iPod just with your voice and they can control your electronic devices. For example, if you want to turn your TV on, you just ask your robot to do it. Oh, so it's like a universal remote. Yes, exactly. And uh, if you want to create new functions, for example, new faces or new movements, you have a really easy software that, where you can create new scenarios, for example, and then download them on your uh, robots. So this seems to be a girl's version and a boy's version? Exactly. This one is a fighter. He can attack and fight and make bomb uh, sounds. <laughs> This one is a girly robot. She has very cute accessories to customize her, like little wings or little stars. And she has uh, girly functions. Like, for example, if you ask her a question, she can give you a random answer, like advise you. Oh, and if she's feeling uh, angry that day, is, are you probably not going to want to ask her anything too sensitive? Uh, she'll probably ver be very mean with you, <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's terrible. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. At CES 2008, I'm Veronica Belmont.